Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at factorizing by a common factor. By Met Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely. Underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So beautiful Monday it is. Example number one. Common factor. So what do you do when you are given a question like this? That says factorize this. Okay, rule number one, look for common factors. Hmm? So what do we mean? What are the factors of 7 and the factors of 21? The factors of 7 are 1 and 7. The factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7 and 21. If you don't know how to find the factors of a number, I'll put a link below in the description of a video that explains how to get the factors of a number. So between these two list of numbers, which one is the highest common factor? Meaning, like, which one is common in both of them but the highest? In this case, it's 7. Okay? So given that 7 is the highest common factor, it becomes like our number that we divide with. Hmm? So we say this equals to 7. Okay? Now we are done with the... Uh, common factor of the number part. Let's look at the letters. Hmm? Look at the exponents. I would like you to look at the exponents of these letters. Like A, B. But now let's start with A. Look, this A is squared, right? Now, when we are factorizing by common a common factor, we use the the lowest, like the exponent, the lowest exponent. Like in this example, the first a is squared, but the other side, the a, is only having one exponent, while the first a is having an exponent of 2. So we use the first a, which is an exponent of 1, okay? So we use that a. And then we look at the b, which b has a small exponent. This b has 2, the other b has 4. Good. So which means we use the b with the exponent of 2 okay now from this from this part now that we got this we put an open bracket and we start dividing this by each of these two parts okay so let's start by saying 7 divided by 7 equals to what equals to 1 so we don't write the 1 there so what's a to the power 2 divided by a hmm? Now remember one thing, when we when we are working with letters, we minus the exponents. Let me just explain this. Let's say this a squared looks exactly like this. In other words, it's like a times a. And this a is just this. It's just like one a, okay? So when these two cancel out, how many a's are left? Only one a is left. So that a is the answer. Now what about the b's? The b, this is b to the power 2, this is also b to the power 2. So in other words, it's like this. Mm -hmm. So the first b will cancel out, the second one will also cancel out. Meaning, we don't write any b there, because they cancel out. Now let's use this again, to divide by this. So now you ask yourself, what's 21 divided by 7? It's equals to 3. Okay, positive 3. Now, when you come to the a, what's a? divided by a. Again, this is like a to the power 1 minus a to the power 1. So when they cancel out, it means we won't have a, a anymore. But what's b to the power 4 divided by b to the power 2? This is like having b times b times b times b divided by b times b. So the first b's will cancel out, the second one will also cancel out, and then there's two b's left, which means you will get b to the power 2. Okay? And then close bracket. And this is your final answer. And just to be sure that this answer is correct, you can always test it just by multiplying the bracket out. When you say this multiplied by a and then this multiplied by 3b to the power 2, the answer should be able to give you this. If you don't get this as the answer when you multiply out this bracket and then you did something wrong somewhere. But if you get this 
as your answer when you multiply your brackets out, then your answer is correct. Okay, let's look at another example. Example number two. How about something like this? So, first of all, we always look for the common factors. Remember, now we have 16 and 24, right? So, what are the factors of 16? Here they are. Now, what are the factors of 24? They are down here. Now, in these two list of numbers, which one is the highest and common? Remember, there is 1. It's also common. 2. There is also a uh, common factor of 2 and a common factor of 4. But which one is the highest? 8 is the highest. Okay? So, we use that 8. Hmm? So, we say equals to 8 as our common factor. Now, let's look at the A. Which A has a small exponent? This A has 4 as an exponent. The other A has a 3, okay, as an exponent. Which means the A3, or A to the power 3, is like the one with a small exponent. So we use that A to the power 3. Let's look at the B. The B, this B has A to the power, I mean, sorry, B to the power 2. And then the other B has also B to the power 2. So what do we do in this instant? We use it the way it is. Because both sides is like equal. So we just use it as B to the power 2. Okay? Good. So now there's a tricky part here. There's a C over here. But on this side there's no C. So what do we do with it? In this case because this side there's no C but this side there's a C. We leave the C that side. We don't write it here. Okay? So we open our bracket. When we open our bracket, we start dividing. So what's 16 divided by 8? It's equal to 2. Okay? So what's a to the power 4 divided by a to the power 3? Hmm? You know when we divide, we do what? We minus or we subtract. So it's like saying 4 subtracted by 3. Equals to what? Equals to 1. So that's why it's only like an a without an exponent. It means 8 a to the power 1. Okay? So, let's get to B. How about B, B to the power 2 divided by B to the power 2? It will cancel out, meaning we won't have any B over here. Okay? So, let's move on to the other side. What's negative 24 divided by 8? It's equals to negative 3. Okay, now we look at the a to the power 3 and divide it to the a to the power 3. This is like saying 3 minus 3 equals to what? Equals to 0. So they cancel out. Let's look at the b part. The b squared divided by b squared. Hmm? Remember we minus the exponents. What's 2 minus 2? Equals to 0. And then we have a c. So now we cannot divide the c. So... We just put the C the same way it is. We just put it next to the 3 and we close our bracket. And this is our answer. And just to test if your answer is correct, you can always multiply this like you can multiply the bracket out just to see if it will give you this as an answer. If you don't get this as an answer when you multiply your brackets out, and then somewhere, somehow, you made a mistake. Let's look at another example. Example number three. Factorize this. Hmm. So, what do you do in this instant? First of all, you still look for common factors. But how? Because in this case, there is only one number. Like, on the other side, there is a one. And this side, there is a two. So, what you do is, since there is only one number, which is a two, and the other side is a one, which doesn't really count, just start with the letters. Let's look at the x part. Hmm? Which one has the small x? This x is to the power 2. Like the exponent. Which one has a smaller exponent? This one has x to the power 1. So we use this x to the power 1. Okay? Let's look at the y. Which one is the y with a small exponent? This exponent is 1. The other exponent is 2. 
Remember when there is nothing written as an exponent, it means the exponent is 1. Okay? So what we do is, we use this one. The y without an exponent because it's the smaller exponent. Okay? So from here, this is like our factors. So we open the bracket, and then we start dividing. What's this divided by this? So the x to the power 2 divided by x is like saying 2 minus 1. So it will be x. Okay? What about the y part? y divided by y is like saying like the exponents 1 minus 1. So the answer would be 0. So meaning the, x, the y won't be there anymore. Now let's look at the other side. Hmm? What do we do to the 2? Remember when there is no number written here? It's like there is a 1, an invisible 1. So it's just like saying 2 divided by 1 gives you what? Gives you 2. Now, let's look at the x, the x part. This x divided by x, it gives you what? Hmm? It's like saying exponent 1 minus exponent 1. So it cancels out. There won't be any x. But let's look at the y. y squared divided by y equals to 1y. That's why there is this y. So it's like 2 minus 1 exponent that will be here will be 1y. Okay? And just like that, that's our final answer. So here I've given you test questions to try and see if you can get the right answer. Feel free to pause the video and try them out. Okay, so here are the answers. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next video. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.